Hello, welcome to part two of me trying to paint something and then gift it to someone for their birthday. I actually had a lot more fun painting this because I didn't have to follow anyone else's instructions. I'm showing you only bits of my sketching process. I tried something new for me. So I've seen this all over my feed. People paint the whole canvas a certain color, supposedly a complementary color so that the colors in the final product pop out more. I'm going to try this. My painting uh, is supposed to have a lot of yellow in it, so I'm starting with a blue base because that's the complementary color. I've never done this before, but if so many people swear by it, then who am I to say differently? I use just a random blue. Also, the blue covered a bit too much of my sketch, but enough of it was still visible in the end. And that's all I wanted. Just some guidelines. So I used a, a mix of paints, actually. I used acrylics and also tempera. I really hope the birthday person likes it. I will, of course, frame it before I gift it. You know what else I would like to paint? Some Stardew Valley scenes or something. I saw the most gorgeous digital art of Stardew Valley. I wish I had that level of skill, but hey, maybe someday I will get there. Okay, so ignore the lighting change. I didn't do all of this at once. So yeah, this was supposed to be some sort of, mm, I guess, wood-like texture. I'm still having trouble finding the right colors for things. I hope I can find some resources to learn how to mix colors so that I get something more realistic. But anyway, this is good as a base. I just use yellow ochre. I had to do multiple layers of paint to cover this blue, but I think it was worth it. I think they did end up nicer in the end. If so many people said it, then it must be true. <laughs> This day, uh, when I painted this, was a very productive day, actually. A very good day for art. Kind of everything I did turned out how I wanted it to. The face was irregular in real life. I'm not just bad at drawing straight lines. That's how the face was. Well, more or less, but it was wavy. <laughs> Okay, so I think we're going ahead with the white now. Yeah, we're going ahead with the white now. This definitely needed so many coats of paint. Having to put on multiple coats of the same color uh, helps with being able to decide where you want to put more of that color and where you want to put less. So you use the same color and get different levels of it depending on how many layers you put on. I, I think that's quite helpful. You know you need to be patient with it. Here I started painting the back wall. So like a garden wall, so it was gray, but it also had some rose bushes on it, which were quite far away and blurry. So I, I tried to reproduce that. Also, you might wonder why the vase does not have a shadow, and it will not have a shadow, I promise. Not exactly sure. Above the table were a lot of leaves and, I think, uh, grapevines? So probably that's why the light was only coming in here and there. I was a bit confused about that. I. Maybe it took away from the realism of it, but I like that it's not fully realistic. I guess light was also coming from the left a bit, but not a lot. Not enough to create a clear shadow. So I did darken, you will see I did darken a bit the table on the right of the vase when I added more texture to it. Also this vase had a painting on it, so it's this is painting inception. 
and I just uh, painted the sides of the face painting so that I could add some more white around it without having to cover up all of that white when I got to the painting itself, which I didn't spend a lot of time on, it was more impressionist. Okay, so here I uh, didn't realize that my camera was too close to the canvas, so you couldn't see the whole painting. Yeah, I eventually moved the canvas a bit, and later on I will also move the camera. Do you see that little purple dot on the vase? That was actually on the vase. I did not miss a spot or something. That was intentional. I quite like unfinished paintings. I think they have, they have a certain charm. Even though this white is not one I love the consistency of. I use the same white from the Bob Ross painting. I don't like it. It has a weird like play-doh consistency so it's a bit difficult to work with and mix with other colors and then i took a break and then i came back to finish the painting so here the light is a bit different because i did it later that day should i show you the original photo as well if you see the original maybe you won't like this as much because it's not hyper-realistic, but you might like it anyway. I, I know I do, even though I know the original painting, uh, the original photo. So yes, with the yellow I also had to add a lot of layers to get to the color that I wanted. I was a bit confused about how to do the grading from yellow to dark orange in the middle of each petal, but I just kept going and hoped it would work out. Okay, here I needed to turn off one of the lights because I couldn't see properly and apparently this lighting is much better even for filming. Good to know for next time. Oh, why did I use that lighting before? That was not as good as this. And also it made me not be able to see properly because of the glare. Oh man, later I turned on the li that light again because I thought there were too many shadows. Okay, so see, finally I got to a nice yellow. Because this is a very tiny canvas, I'm using my tiniest brush and still I'm not able to do such fine lines. Maybe if I did this on a bigger canvas, it would have been more detailed. I was also worried that the petals would kind of blend together and I managed to not do that somehow, I'm not exactly sure how, but I'm glad I did. I guess with different shades of yellow and orange. I kept dropping things while painting this last part. It was a bit, um, it was a bit annoying, but it happens. Too much coordination for painting, so none left for just moving the brushes when I don't need to paint with them. Or maybe it's the fact that my palette was on the left and I was painting with my right hand. I'm not even sure what kind of flower this is. It's a cute flower, but it's a very small flower. Look at this. This is cute, isn't it? It's good to like what you're making every now and then. Like, of course, everyone can always improve and get better, but this is actually quite pretty. And I really like it. <laughs> 